It's Zimmo Malama. So I just finished a really good training at work um, on culture of feedback. And you're like, what is that? Sorry, my kid shot me with Nerf gun last night. It's war in here. Let's just go with that. Bam, mama's ready. I don't like guns, but these guns are going down. Okay, back to culture of feedback. So it was a really good training. Really good training. And I feel like this training, the culture of feedback, could be used in every aspect of your life. Feedback is hard for a lot of people. And some of you are sitting there right now going, oh, I want feedback. I'm perfect. <laughs> you're not perfect. I, I promise you're not. I, I, I guarantee somebody can point out a mistake of yours or a flaw. So the first thing is to look inside and figure that out yourself. Just like on self reviews at work, you got to figure out your flaws so that you can put them down on how can you improve. You can figure that out people, I promise. Okay, so culture feedback. Some of the big takeaways were <clears throat> you rise by lifting others. The more positive feedback you give in, a, in, an, in an environment, whether it's a relationship, whether it's work, you're going to rise by lifting others. If you give people positive compliments all the time, you won't see the negative anymore. Whoa, that's a huge one, right? If you point out the positive all the time, the negative goes away because you have trained your brain to look at the positive. And if you're in a company, you have now raised your level of employees and coworkers up all because you're staying positive. In the relationship, the same thing. I could tell my husband that his breathing is bothering me and he needs to stop. Or I can focus on the positive. He's breathing. It means he's alive. I can keep loving on him. Focus on the positive and the negative goes away. My last trip flying for work, my boss asked me, how was your flight? How was your trip? I'm like, it was amazing. There were so many great things happening in the airport. I saw this and this and this. All I saw were positive interactions in the airport. Why was that? Because I have trained my brain to see the positive and not the negative. By creating a culture of feedback, meaning you're constantly asking your friends for feedback, your, your spouse, like my husband and I have regular check-ins. Hey, how are we? Are we doing okay? Anything that we need to talk about? Anything we need to work on? Anything I need to work on? Let me know. Like we are constantly checking in with each other. Same thing with the kids. I constantly check in with them. Hey guys, what's going on? How, how's mama doing today? And our love little one to 10. Is mama doing a good job? Why? Because I need to know if they're telling me mama's grumpy today, I need to take a look at that. By the way, you should know if you're already grumpy, you should know what the answer is going to be. I mean, that's my theory in life is my boss shouldn't be telling me anything that I don't know. My kids shouldn't be telling me anything that I don't know. And my husband shouldn't be telling me anything I don't know about myself. You are the first person to recognize your faults. You are the only person who can change those faults. Nobody else can do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. Nobody can change you but you. Feedback helps you become a better person. I love getting messages, even if you guys are mean, which by the way, y'all aren't mean. Y'all are usually really nice to me. Every once in a while, I get a little troll telling me that I need to go on myself, but I don't listen to them because I get so much great feedback from the rest of you that that makes me happy and pushes me forward. And that's what I focus on is the good negative. Just go by. Um, but I like feedback. I like hearing if you like what I say, because it helps me become better. It helps me help you better. It helps me know what you need to talk about or learn about or things that have been on your mind. Sorry, this bruise is really bothering me, but I know exactly what happened. So whatever. Anyway, um, culture feedback. Live it, learn it, love it. Don't be defensive about it. 
and what they're saying to you, you should know. I can remember one time I had a boyfriend. I'm going to pick on him. He told me I talk too much and um, that I interrupt people when I talk, when they talk. I had no idea. That's how self-centered I was. I had no idea. And I was kind of like taken aback, a little hurt. And then I started realizing I do. When I get nervous, I talk and I just keep talking. And if somebody's talking and something comes up, I used to interrupt because I would forget that little important thought. I would forget. And then I realized I need to stop trying to listen, to respond and listen to listen. When you listen to listen, you stop interrupting people when they talk because you're not trying to one-up them or, oh, here's a story about this. You're just listening to hear them. That's huge. It changed my life. It still took me quite a few years to get it all down, but that was the beginning steps to like really looking that I'm not perfect. I'm not the bee's knees that I thought I was. Maybe I need to work on myself. And then that took me down another path very long path, but I'm here and I every day work on myself every day. I'm touching base. I'm every day. I'm doing something to better myself and you can too. And that culture of feedback, you can just do it with yourself. If you need to write in a journal, talk about what is going through your mind and really truly figure out how to make yourself bigger, better with that feedback. So that's what I have for you today. Create a culture of positive feedback in your life. And live it, love it, learn it, be it. You've got this. Go be a better person. Prove yourself daily. Rise by lifting others. Signing off.